So far, local police agencies tell us there are no reasons to believe there will be trouble and no known threats to polling places, but still, agency leaders say in light of the public protests and unrest over policing issues in recent months and the tense political climate, they're making sure plenty of officers will be on duty. The LAPD says it's ordered almost all officers to report to work in uniform until further notice. Certain units will work longer shifts, and some officers have had vacation days canceled. Working with the county register as well as the secretary of state, providing uh, daily reports with the uh, our sheriff's department for countywide perspective on uh, polling places. Chief Moore says the department's operations center has been opened and it's coordinating with the registrar of voters. The L.A. County Sheriff's Department says patrol deputies will begin working 12 hours on, 12 hours off on Sunday to increase the number of deputies on duty. It says in an internal notice that's to provide better coverage for what it calls civil unrests. The California Highway Patrol says it's putting its officers on maximum enforcement similar to what happens around major holidays days through election week, the Beverly Hills Police Department will be on full alert. And in Beverly Hills, some business owners say they were advised by the city to board up their retail store windows. Not only is Beverly Hills PD putting more of its own officers on duty, but the department is hiring private security guards and bringing in police officers from Ventura County. And the LAPD just bought 1,000 of these, new shields that are supposed to protect officers from rocks, bricks, bottles, and anything else that's thrown. We're not going to become targets with these shields just standing there static while people choose to throw rocks and bottles at us. It says in a statement they're intended to be used as a defensive measure against assaults on police officers during protests and are designed to provide cover for our personnel. They're so new officers haven't had much time to train. This memo we obtained says officers have to get permission to use them and using them too soon at the scene of a demonstration could escalate tensions. The shields are new for the LAPD, but not for the sheriff's department that's used them in crowd control recently. In fact, one deputy was seen on video striking a person with the edge of a shield in West Hollywood in September. The LAPD's shields are much bigger and heavier than the sheriff's, and some officers have told us privately they're worried the program is being rushed and the usage hasn't been thoroughly tested and evaluated. The shields cost $235 apiece. The quarter million dollar total cost, including shipping, will come from the LAPD's existing budget. I'm investigative reporter Eric Leonard, NBC4 News.